the iPhone XS and XS Max are here. Hey everyone, Sean X Tech here, and today we're looking at the new iPhone XS and XS Max that just released on Friday, September 21st. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing my iPhone XS and then going over the top five new features the iPhone XS brings this year. Let's start with an unboxing of my very own iPhone XS, which I got in space gray in the 64GB configuration. Of course, it comes with the standard Apple paperwork. Hello? And we actually have the SIM eject tool in this box with a quick start guide, nice graphics, and of course, the Apple stickers. Get everything set up here. Now this is the phone. We're gonna set that aside for now um, just to talk about what's in the box. So we have our once again standard five watt USB wall charger. We have our ear pods with the lightning connector. And of course, uh, this time does not come with the adapter from lightning to headphone jack. And we have our USB to lightning connector cable. Now the iPhone itself is what we're really here for. And I love this part. You get to pull off that new plastic. Here we go. Oh yeah, so satisfying. Right, nice and shiny. I love the space gray finish. It just kind of blends seamlessly with the screen and it's just a great look. Even though the gold is very nice, I did see that in store, but uh, I like space gray. So even though the design is mostly similar to the iPhone 10 from last year, we do have a couple changes, specifically the asymmetric speaker grills on the bottom of the phone, and the other three are replaced with an additional antenna band. And we can see another antenna band placed on top of the phone near the camera, while still retaining the other four antenna bands, two on each side of the phone. Now comparing the iPhone X next to the iPhone XS Max, you can definitely see the differences in size with the main difference being the 6.5 inch screen on the Max versus the 5.8 inch screen on the XS. But surprisingly, the XS Max doesn't feel that cumbersome, and it's something I recommend considering if you're considering a bigger screen phone. Like I said, the design changes for the Max versus the regular XS are mostly just the size. But I will point out that the XS Max does have an extra grill on the bottom for the microphone, though I don't know how this will really affect use. Internally, these phones are nearly identical, but let's talk about the top 5 features that the XS brings this year. First up is the processor. Now the A11 processor in last year's iPhone X, 8, and 8 Plus was no slouch. But the A12 Bionic in this year's iPhone XS and XS Max as well as the iPhone XR, brings with it some welcome improvements and upgrades that really pack a punch in usage. What really shines in the A12 Bionic this year is its up to 50% faster graphics performance and up to 50% better power usage efficiency, as well as an enhanced image signal processor and an advanced performance controller to help keep all of these technologies in check at the same time. What this brings with it in terms of usage is faster Face ID unlock recognition better gaming performance with its new 6-core GPU, and an overall speedier performance boost 
also helped by iOS 12 with refined animations that make opening apps and switching between apps as well as scrolling and gestures super fluid and responsive. The A12 Bionic also helps with image processing where you get all of your studio lighting effects as well as a new depth control feature that lets you change the depth of field in the image after you take the shot. So you can change the bokeh background blur to get the exact amount of effect that you want. Now let's talk about those cameras. The same cameras are available in both the iPhone XS and XS Max, with each packing a dual 12 megapixel sensor setup. But this year, those 12 megapixel sensors have a wider aperture, specifically in the wide angle lens. This allows the camera sensor to capture more photons and therefore increase the visibility in low light photography, especially in this image where we can see the detail is still retained in the high exposure areas of the image. And of course, you still have your telephoto lens as well, which is able to capture up to 2x optical zoom, as well as up to 6x digital zoom in video mode, and up to 10x digital zoom when taking a photo. And both sensors come with optical image stabilization to help you get that best shot. Next on the list is battery life. Apple says the iPhone XS and XS Max both receive higher ratings for battery life this year. This is likely due in part to the more efficient power management in the A12 Bionic chip. With the iPhone XS lasting up to 30 minutes longer than the iPhone X on a single charge. But due to the increased size of the iPhone XS Max, there is also expected to be a bigger battery. And as iFixit confirmed in their teardown, that was exactly the case. With the XS Max having a battery that's approximately 20% larger in capacity than the XS. And because of this, it's expected to get up to an hour and a half more battery life than the iPhone X. So you can go even longer through the day, or even more than one day, without having to plug in or sync up. Unfortunately, Apple didn't provide us with a charger capable of charging these bigger batteries faster, so we're left with the puny 5 watt charger that came with the original iPhone. Higher watt chargers are of course available for the iPad and the MacBooks, that are capable of allowing you to take advantage of the fast charging feature built into the iPhones. Now let's talk about water resistance. For most of the iPhone's existence, water has not been its friend. But with the XS and XS Max, Apple is upgrading its water resistance capabilities to an IP68 rating, which means that it can last underwater up to 2 meters in depth for about 30 minutes. So rest assured that you'll be safe if you decide to take your iPhone XS out into the rain or even decide to give it a quick wash. It'll be good as new. Our fifth and final top feature to talk about is the new dual SIM. The dual SIM feature in the iPhone XS and XS Max allow you to keep two separate numbers on your phone using an eSIM, which is built directly into the phone, and your normal SIM card in the SIM card slot. This is a great feature if you need to keep a separate line open for business, staying connected while traveling overseas, or leading that secret double life you always planned. It's available from these mobile carriers at launch, with more expected to be added in the future. If you have the iPhone X from last year, the iPhone XS wasn't really expected for you, that is unless you want to have the latest and greatest, or you're interested in the larger size from the XS Max. If you're coming from an iPhone that's at least two years or older, this phone is more than worth it for the upgrade. But if the price has you second guessing if you need one, you may want to consider the iPhone XR that's coming out in October, which packs in some of the same features like the A12 Bionic chip, and the same 12 megapixel wide angle camera along with Face ID and a near bezel-less display. If you found this video informative, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below, and subscribe for more videos coming soon, especially on the iPhone and other tech products. Until next time, I'm Sean X Tech. 
If you want to see my last video, click the annotation in the lower left. If you want to see more in the future and keep up to date with the channel, click the annotation in the bottom right to subscribe. I'm Sean X Tech, and I hope to see you next time.